Hi guys, Philip English from Robofield.com and today we're looking at how to program your nail robot for human interaction. Hi guys, uh, Philip English from Robofield.com and uh, we're going to do a quick now greeting for you, so a basic greeting of the now. So uh, the way we do this is um, we first want to create a animation and a movement. So as I've um, said before in some of my other tutorials, uh, you can right click, create new box and create a new timeline. Now uh, we want the robot to do um, three things. So I want to get him to do a high five um, and hello and then a goodbye move. So we just want to find three animations for this. So we call this one high five and we build him up to do a high five to start with. As you can see, it's a timeline box, and we simply just OK that. Oh yes, uh, we're going to put a picture in there as well. So you can browse um, the files that you get with the now, and uh, I'm just going to pick uh, this one here. So it looks like he's doing a high five, just so it's clear on the screen. Click OK. Now, as you should remember, if we click into the box, we get access to the now's timeline. Now, my now is connected here. I'm just going to wiggle his arm a little bit. Yeah, there we go. He is connected to the PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some points um, for the now to do some movement. So right click, as I showed you before on the, um, one of my tutorials, and we want to make it set all the joints to so the whole body. Set that on there. And then we we'll come all the way over here and we will set another joint for the whole body. So start here, do something in the middle and end here. Then what we would do is let's say around about 50. We want to make him look like he's doing a high five. So he's high five people. So right click the arm, which gives you control and you stiffen up the chains. And then we're going to raise his arm up. Up it comes. So it looks like he's doing a high five. So that's some of that. There we go. That looks like a good high five to me. His hands are already open, so that's fine. Then what we do is we come over here and we just set joints in keyframe, but just for the arms. Okay. So that should be that. Now, if we hit play on the motion controller, he should, oh, a little bit violently, give us a high five. Let's do that again. Now, that's quite a quick high five, actually. So, what we want to do is actually get him to pause when he's got his arms in the air, or his arm in the air. So, the way we, the way we do that, is we can just copy and paste this keyframe. So we'll copy it, uh, we'll put it up to 80, and we'll paste it, and then we'll drag this one along so he's got more time. So he should have his normal position, do a high five, pause for a little while while doing the high five, and then go back to its standard position. So if we hit play now, he made this a bit violently again. There we go, a high five, brilliant. Right, so that's our animation, that's what we want. Let me just re-click off his arm it's one more time so you guys can see it in the uh, oh, uh, in the view. Stop that there, in motion. There we go. So we'll come out again. Now, we want us to do a few greetings. So we're going to grab a few already built animations just so I can show you how this works. And if we go to uh, the animations first, which are, oh, I've lost them, uh, timeline, flow control, communication, Right, so we're going to look for the animation, so here, here we go. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a hello. We've already got a high five and a white forehead, but we'll make that a goodbye move. Now, we want him to hear me speak, so we need speech recognition. So put one of those in there. 
and we also need a switch case. So the switch case is obviously so he hears what I say, can decide, and then link it into a motion I've created. So we're just going to connect up the noodles. One noodle there, and we'll see a noodle into this, and that will go into the hello animation. We're going to make one called high five. There we go. And uh, we'll make another one called Goodbye. Oh, let's do a capital. Goodbye. Okay. So, high five goes into there. And goodbye goes into there. So, he, he, he wiped his forehead when, when he's saying goodbye. Now, we, what we need to do is obviously go into speech recognition. And we've only got yes and no here. So, these are the words that he's searching for. So, we're just going to change these. So I'm going to make it high, and I'm going to make one high five. I always find you have to get the spelling correct, as in you have to use capitals so it um, doesn't get confused. Um, sometimes it stops working. So there we go, the high, high five, goodbye. So those are the words that he should be listening to. Obviously you can play with the thresholds here to um, see what works better. Hit OK. So there we have speech recognition. He'll be listening to what I'm saying. If I say one of those words, then he will act out a motion. Now, what we need to do is to make sure that the robot doesn't um, repeat itself or you know it doesn't loop back. Before we do that, um, we're going to add some some say boxes in here as well, so he can speak back to us. Exactly the same as we've done here. I'll just drop these down here for a little bit, just so you can see. So, drag this one over here in the say box. Obviously, whatever language you want. We're going to say hello. That one's okay. This one in the say box with English, and we're going to get him to say hi five. And the last one. We wanted to say goodbye. So can we go? And we're saying goodbye. So here's here's what I'm saying, recognizes it, says a word and does an animation. Now what we want to do is we, is we don't want him to loop um, as in so he keeps hearing the same sound and he maybe starts to hear himself and repeats himself so to stop that we, we need to loop the end of these back into the start so a simple noodle coming out of the output and into the input of speech so the animation is completed and then to stop the sound um, him trying to hear himself again and again you drag this out and loop it back into the input for the cross You can see you see my face there. Right, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to make a little change actually. Instead of hello, I'm actually just going to put hi here. Just to shorten it down. And I'm going to put hi in there as well, which I've already done before, because they have to match. Otherwise, if it doesn't match, uh, he, he won't recognise it. Uh, my robot is a little bit deaf, so this is why I've changed it to hi and not keeping it as hello, because he, he, he has been getting confused. So if I hit load, So let's try high five. High five. Brilliant. Goodbye. Goodbye. He's doing a white forehead. Hi. Hello. Brilliant. So that looks like it's working very well. So again, if he says um, hi or high five or goodbye, then he will greet you. If you so, you, you can use this if you uh, if you walk into the room, and you can say hi to the ro robot, and obviously we do his animation and uh, say your speech. So here you can uh, also use your imagination and uh, try different things, different animations. I mean, you you know how to. Um, do dances from my other tutorials and uh, you can also put different speech in here but that that looks like it's working really well 
So we'll just test it again and see how it makes sure we have a smooth, a smooth working robot. High five. High five. Hi. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Brilliant. He's working well. Brilliant, thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, then please write me a message in the comment section below. For more information, please head over to our website, links we've created for you on the right.